Hey there and welcome. It's Tuesday afternoon, December 2nd, 2008. I'm Jilly Bedanes and this is the afternoon briefing and update and what we're following here on WashingtonTimes.com. President-elect Obama addressed a bipartisan gathering of America's governors in Philadelphia today. He promised to invest in infrastructure and add jobs to stimulate state economies. But he also warned the governors asking for federal aid that they would be seeing budget cuts eventually, but he hopes governors will have a voice in those decisions. Republican Senator of Florida Mel Martinez announced today he will not be seeking re-election in 2010. The former chair of the Republican National Committee for George W. Bush has suffered in popularity for his closeness to the Bush administration. The new Ron Howard film, Frost Nixon, which centers on a series of interviews by Sir David Frost of Richard Nixon, has triggered some bitter remarks among Washington elite. After the VIP screening last night, former Washington Post executive editor Ben Bradley criticized the film for casting Nixon as apologetic and admitting of responsibility. Bradley said Nixon was never sorry for what he did. After the screening, during a panel discussion with the filmmakers, Fox News' Chris Wallace challenged Ron Howard's assertion that President Bush abused power in a way similar to Richard Nixon. Wallace stood up in front of a few hundred people and said that Nixon's crimes were committed purely in his own personal interests, and to compare that to George W. Bush, he said, was a gross misreading of history. Well, that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com, and I'll be back tomorrow morning for the morning briefing.